Well, the ski resort tells us that all of the injuries were not life-threatening. That may be true, but it is also true that those who were hurt are in a lot of pain physically and mentally. It was my birthday yesterday as well. Um, it was my best friend. Sorry, it hurts really bad right now. Emma Lopinto just turned 19 yesterday. She's studying to be a veterinarian at Clemson and went to Beach Mountain to celebrate. I'm in quite a lot of pain, mainly on my left side of my body. Um, I have bruises from head to toe, some big, some small, just like all over my body. This is video of Lapinto on the ground after she had fallen from the ski lift. A few minutes earlier, a geyser of water erupted from a pipe, striking the lift with her and her best friend. So we just grabbed each other and ducked our heads. And um, all I remember is the metal bar flying up and then me flying up. I don't remember anything and then um, I remember opening my eyes belly first on the ground. At times, the lift stopped and then moved again with several people going through the water in seven degree weather. Ivy, Elise Ivy and her boyfriend could see what was happening and decided to jump along with several others. Everyone was in shock. And it, I mean, you're not gonna jump from 25 feet if you don't think you have to. Ivy ended up breaking her arm, fracturing it around the elbow. I'm in some serious pain, even with the medicine. Um, I mean, I can't dress myself, I can't shower, I can't drive, <laughs> I can't lift anything in that hand. My, my fingers aren't working right. Ivy is disappointed in how the resort handled this issue. She wonders why it took so long to shut off the lift and turn off the water. The resort told us that she was not instructed to jump by resort staff. It goes on to say, we very much regret that the incident occurred, and we again offer our apologies to the guests that were adversely affected. Lapinto is worried not just about herself, but also her friend who may have some spinal issues. She went back into the hospital today for compressions to her spine on her back six, seven, eight, nine, and 11. I don't want to put blame on anyone, I just want um, people to know it was a more serious event um, than I feel like it's being said. Well, Lapinto was one of two patients who were taken to the hospital by ambulance. Ivy was taken to the hospital by her family. And just to repeat, the ski resort says that all of the injuries were not life-threatening. Back to you.